and I'm with Texas Last Diet, your last diet. And today I've got some things cooking for you and you're gonna wanna stay tuned for the whole entire video because I have several different things I wanna show you. I am craving potatoes. I mean, come on, seriously, I kinda crave potatoes all the time. But what I noticed as I started losing weight and keeping it off, that potatoes really aren't really flavorful. They basically just pick up the flavors of what you put on them, like mustard or ketchup. I mean, who puts mustard on potatoes? Me. <laughs> so um, you can put salt and pepper. I mean, you put sour cream and cheese and all that kind of stuff on potatoes. But if you were to eat a potato, it's kind of like, ugh, I got a tickle in my nose. <laughs> it's kind of like mushy and not so, I don't know, flavorful. So I wanted to show you some really good things that are flavorful instead, and you can really dress them up. Now, you guys know I always talk about chayote, right? I love these chayotes, and if you haven't had one before, oh, I got something really cool to tell you. <laughs> I'm growing these. They, the leaves actually come right out of here. I planted these in my yard and I'm gonna show you this weekend. There's already little things coming up. I mean, unless a squirrel or a bunny or something gets it, which could definitely happen at my house. But so anyways, the chayote is filled with all kinds of vitamin C and, and, and minerals and just this thing right here, tons of fiber. You are gonna wanna find these in your market. They look like a pear. Some people think they're apples, but they are not. They're usually wrapped in a cellophane. And now what I did to these is I steamed it first. A lot of people, what they do is they just eat it. They eat it raw. I had a lady this morning text me, you know that Walden Farms caramel and chocolate? She just cut it up in pieces and was dipping it in that before she went on her workout. How cool is that? What a great idea. Way to go, girl. I was very proud of her. She's only been a moxie fitter for a couple weeks and she came up with that idea all on her own. Hey, Lenora, nice to see you. Now I cut that, you saw how easy that was to cut that baby in half. That's what it looks like in the inside. Now I love that seed. To me, it's kind of like the heart of the artichoke. It's the best part, but um, I usually scoop that out. But since I'm gonna throw it on my Joe Foreman grill, George Foreman grill, I'm not gonna do that today. I'm basically just gonna take a little bit of this melted butter that I had and spread it right on there. You guys see that? Remember, you're gonna to wanna to stick around because I have something boiling in this pot you guys are gonna freak when you see it. All right, so there's my melted butter. Now, whatever spices you like, Italian seasoning is one of my very favorites. I usually put that on everything, but I'm tired of doing that for you. Jody, my friend, she hooked me up with this amazing spice. Now this has turmeric in it, garlic powder, Himalayan salt, turmeric, however you guys wanna say it, black paper, pepper, and ground coriander. Rewind that back, it's equal parts of every one, and she just mixed it all together in a little sample here. This stuff is great. It's wonderful for inflammation, and you're really gonna like it. So I'm just gonna throw that on there like that and slap it on that nice hot grill, yeah baby. Lily and I are ready to eat today. I think I have some company coming, there's another one. Bam, and I did make two <laughs> because I had four and I figured 50-50, right? So see how easy that is to cut? Now, you guys can cut those up and throw them in a pan and saute them with some onions and things like that if you want to. But look it, I'm not spreading a lot of butter on that. Remember, when you're trying to lose weight, you wanna keep your fat content down. You don't wanna eat a lot of fat. Now, fat is good for you as long as it's good healthy fat, but you don't wanna eat a ton of it. Don't be putting it in your coffee and slapping it on all kinds of food. Go easy on it, right? Doesn't that look good, you guys? Nice and colorful. If you guys start eating like this on a regular basis, your body is gonna be loving you like no other. Damn, there's two chayotes. That cost me right there about a dollar. Let me throw this under here so it doesn't get all over the place. This drains out and I lost the little bowl. I mean, how many of you guys have that out there where the little thing that catches the oil or the grease or whatever runs up? Yeah, it's gone. Don't know where that's at. <laughs> all right, so what else am I gonna show you? I decided I had some leftover jicama in there. I only had a little bit. So I decided to throw it in the steam pot when I was steaming my chayote. Well, I was surprised. It didn't really get very soft. It's still pretty firm. I mean, it bends a little, but if you look at it, you know what this would be really good made into? Yeah, a french fries. So all of you that have fry machines out there, those air fryers, 
All you have to do is put some olive oil on this baby and salt and pepper and you've got jicama fries. I steam them for probably about 30 minutes. So cut them up in smaller pieces. Look at that guys. That is a french fries if I don't say so myself. All right. The main thing that I've been excited to show you about today is this right over here. Now, I discovered this about two years ago and I was making this pot roast and everybody says throw radishes in because you know, pot roast, you have to have potatoes, right? Potatoes and pot roast, they're like, well, meat and potatoes. <laughs> so I was like, all right, that doesn't sound like cool to me at all, but I'm gonna try the radishes anyway. And I did, so I had my crock pot that I love, my favorite one, and I threw a whole bunch of radishes in there. And the whole time I was doing it, I was like, yeah, man, this is not gonna be good. And I was surprised. What happens is those radishes down there with that pot roast, they actually soak up all that juice. It is so unbelievably good. Well, how often do you make pot roast? I don't know, once a month, maybe once every couple months. I mean, at Thanksgiving, you don't make it very often, right? So people don't eat those very often. Well, not at my house, man. I gotta have potatoes a little bit more than that. And I try to stay away from all the carbs that those potatoes bring me. And so I make something that I just kind of made up on my own. Of course, I was winging it. And I did it with beef gravy, but today I didn't have beef gravy, so I'm gonna slide this over real slowly. Can you guys see that? Give me a thumbs up, all right? So in here, remember those wings that I boiled up last Thursday? I saved that juice, remember? And I made a soup out of it. Well, I still had some of that chicken broth left over. So what I did is I bought three or four bunches of radishes and I trimmed them all off. And I put them in my juice here, my, um, from my chicken that I had, my chicken wings. And then I went ahead and put some of this handy dandy spice. Again, you don't have to use this spice. Use any spices you like. If you like a chipotle spice or you like Tony Satchery spice or Italian spice, use whatever you want. But I want to show you something. This is really cool. Now, they're not even close to being done yet. Uh, I know they're kind of hard, but you just want to wait till they're soft because right now, you know what they're doing? They're soaking up all the juice, right? So let me move this right over here before I go for myself. Look at that, guys. If that doesn't look like a red potato, come on now, seriously. That soaks up the juice. Ooh, my mouth just watered. Jody, I love your spice. It's smelling delicious in here. I was able to actually get one. Red potato right there. When you bite into this, I can guarantee you it's not gonna taste like a radish. Now, I know you're gonna get hungry. You're gonna be like, I wanna eat these really quick. And you know, don't do that. Let them soak until they get nice and soft. Usually what I'll do is I'll take a fork and I'll mash them a little bit, let them sit in there for a little bit and soak up more of that juice. You put them on the plate, you'll be calling me and you'll be saying, Vicki, those radish potato things are the best. I promise you. My name is Vicki, I'm with Texas Last Diet, your last diet. And if you ever want more recipes, go to my YouTube channel. Remember to scroll down below too and leave a comment. It's super important you do. You wanna see recipes, hook me up with whatever you want. I'll come up with something and we'll make it easy for you, okay? Also, make sure that you look at the pictures below because I post everything below, I'll plate it up so you can kinda get an idea. I usually do that on every Facebook, unless I get real hungry and I eat it before I can take a picture of it. I forget sometimes, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> so make sure you do that, check out our YouTube and make sure you subscribe. Also, I have a podcast coming out, it's on Spotify somewhere and it's called Losing It and Staying That Way. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Guess who's gonna be here, Jody. She decided she was coming back and she's gonna make peppers. You're gonna wanna see that.